Hey guys, Fabuliki here today and welcome to Redstone Tutorials. We're going to be looking at an automated lighting system so your lights turn on when the sun goes down and turn off when the sun comes back up again. This requires at least snapshot 13W01A uh, to be able to work, so keep that in mind. Okay, so the first thing we're going to have to do is obviously craft the daylight sensor and if you don't know how to do it, I'm going to show you how to do that right now. It's pretty easy. It's three wooden slabs along the bottom, three nether quartz in the middle and three glass blocks on the top and you get your daylight sensor right there. Now to understand this a bit better I'm going to explain it because it's new and not everybody knows what it's about. So it detects how much daylight there is and the way it tells you how much daylight there is is how long the redstone signal travels for uh, which is also known as its signal strength. Now when the sun is high up in the sky like it is now about midday the signal is at its strongest so it'll travel for 15 blocks which as you may know, or you should know from previous episodes, a redstone signal just from a torch will travel 15 blocks. That's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. The next one will be off. So a full strength redstone signal travels for 15 blocks in its entirety. Uh, and that's what a daylight sensor is going to give us when the sun is at its highest. So right now you can see it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 14, 15 blocks long. And it stops right here. So, say you wanted something to activate at midday. How you do that is simply put a block here, I'm just going to use dirt, and put another torch on the other end. Now that that's off, you'll see if we put this above it, when, well this is not going to activate at midday obviously, this is going to deactivate uh, when it is midday. So if I change the time, so if you go time set, let's go 6000, which, wait is that midday? I think that is midday, my bad. Uh, time set, let's go 7000 maybe, that'll go off? Nope, okay. It's kind of playing around here, 8,000. There you go. So we've gone past midday now and this is turned on. Obviously if you wanted to activate at midday, you'd put it right here. Because as the sun changes position, you get less light, the signal strength will get weaker and stronger. So basically the maximum point is 15 and then it goes down. So because we want something to activate at night time, that's going to be a lot shorter than that. Um, you can either do three or four blocks. I'd recommend going about four blocks before you do anything. So, because we want it to activate at night time, this is when we use our blocks to invert our signal. And we put our torch on the other side. We put our lamp there now. And that means that when the sun starts setting and the signal gets weaker and weaker, when this signal is so weak that it can't keep this torch off, the lamp will turn on. And that, that happens to be at night time. So if we time set to, I believe it's 13,000, which is just too late. That's actually sunset, sorry. 12,000 we'll go to. Um, might just go 12,500 around about. Hopefully that should be good. Yeah, okay, so in a second, the signal is gonna drop below that block there and the lamp will turn on. You can see it's just holding onto a signal right now. In any moment now, our lamp will turn on as it has done right there. And because it's nighttime. Of course, if you want it to go on earlier, you would move it one block further away. Uh, and that will make it go on earlier, which might be a better idea, because I think 5 is better. So if we go back to 12,000 now, it's just off, and it should turn on soon. So basically, that, that's the idea of it. Um, and that's obviously just one lamp. As you saw at the beginning, I had multiple setups. So basically, now you just use this redstone signal coming from this block, however you want, however you normally would use it. Uh, redstone works normally after that at full strength. So you could have multiple uh, lights turning on at at like uh, sunset. So as you can see it's just turned on because it's getting dark. So what we might do right now is actually just get a few lights here for no apparent reason all right next to each other that will turn on. So if we just set the time back a tiny bit so that it's about to go on you'll see that they'll all turn on at the same time. And then basically it's a matter of sort of stringing the redstone together and all the lights and all that kind of stuff and getting them to turn on how you want to. So if we go back real quick, I'm going to go back into the other world, which is this one, which is where I had it. Um, I have my daylight sensor up the top here. This is where it is, and underneath this is where my redstone signal goes. So it's just normal redstone, it's just a line of redstone that travels through underground. Here's the fake base there, it comes down under there. We won't be able to go down there though, because there's not enough room. Oh, oh, of course. Right, and so basically it travels under the ground, just down here. and it, will activate each of our lights as the sun is setting or rising. So if we set it back to just before sunset, so 12,000 is 600, hopefully it'll be a bit quicker. Oh, that went straight away. 500, and it's already on. 
Okay, about there. It should go any second now. So basically, you can see the oil off, and then you'll see the signal change, and it'll come on at night time. So it's pretty easy stuff. Uh, it's just normal redstone after the initial understanding of the signal strength of the daylight zone. So anyways, I hope this helped you. It was a fairly short tutorial, and it's, it's fairly basic stuff, but I thought it's fairly important stuff, as it can be used for a lot of things. Obviously not just lights. You could activate certain traps around your base at night time, so maybe you could open a trench, at night time to protect yourself against mobs instead of using lights, because if, if the mobs can't even get to you, then you don't need lights, do you? Um, that's just an idea. I don't know what else you could do with it. a lot of other stuff, obviously. Uh, but yeah, anyways, I'm Flubbleaky, and thanks for watching.